Android TV comes with its own native app store, the Google Play Store. You know, you're familiar with that and it's pretty great. Of course, it's going to come with apps that are optimized for the Android TV because, you know, you wouldn't want your Instagram stretched out now, would you? But then there's times where you have to sideload apps onto your Android TV because this other time I was trying to get SmartVPN on my, you know, Nvidia Shield to watch American Netflix, but I couldn't find it on the Play Store. Well, it turns out there's not one, but two or even three. There's five different ways you can sideload apps onto your Android TV, depending on, you know, if you've got a thumb drive or smartphone or even none of those. Let's see how you can do those, shall we? The most handy way to sideload apps onto your streaming device can be using flash drives. If you've got a spare flash drive nearby, you can copy APKs from your computer. Or if you're on Android, first you need to download any backup and restore apps like APK Extractor from Google Play Store to extract APK of the installed app. For example, say I want to send this Chrome app to my Android TV, so I'll go to APK Extractor, extract Chrome APK, and now send that to the thumb drive using a file explorer. This phone has a Type-C outlet, so I'll use Type-C to USB adapter to plug into USB stick. Now, once you send the file to the USB stick, remove the flash drive and plug it in to the Android TV box. Once that's done, use the file manager such as File Commander to install them onto your device. Also, if you use a Fire TV stick, you'll have to buy a three-way OTG splitter to access the flash drive itself, which is a bit of a hassle. The previous method was a tad inconvenient as it requires both the USB OTG adapter as well as a flash drive. In case if you don't have access to those, you can also use cloud-based services like Google Drive to transfer APKs from your phone or PC to your Android-based streaming device or even Android TV. Start by downloading the APK from APK Mirror on your phone or PC. The reason we recommend APK Mirror is because it's from the reputable Android police once you download the APK on your Android, for instance, if you want Instagram app on your Android TV, yes, I know, it's handheld, and don't ask me why. Once you download the app, you upload it to your Google Drive account and head to your streaming device. Open File Commander or any other file explorer with cloud support. We have a detailed video on which file browser to use, which I'll link in the YouTube cards, so keep an eye out for that. Now, log into the app with the same Google account which has the APKs. You should see that the APK download it. Once the download's done, install them. And there you have it. Although this might sound easy in theory, in reality, it's just too much work to get done, especially when you have an easier method out there. So let's take a look at that. Since Android TV or even the Fight TV stick are already connected to the internet, it makes sense to use the Wi-Fi to transfer APKs and install them. So to get this to work, first you'll need to install Wi-Fi file transfer app on your Android TV. Use the previous two methods to install Wi-Fi file transfer on your device. To save time, I've already done that, so I'll go ahead and open the app. The app will show you an IP address. You can type this IP address onto your computer or Android phone's browser and access this app on your Android TV. Of course, both should be on the same Wi-Fi network. This time, I'm going to use a computer, so type the IP given on the Wi-Fi file manager app on your computer, and then just drag and drop the APK files there. Now you can transfer files from your phone and install them. Of course, you can also transfer large files like movies using the app as well. If you're on the Fire TV stick, you can use the Easy Fire Tools app to transfer apps installed on the phone or APKs directly to your Fire TV stick. 
The only downside in this method is that you have to clog up the memory of your both phone and your streaming device, which makes the operation slow at both ends. Once you install basic apps on your Android TV, you'll be able to access the web using web browsers like Puffin TV. Using Puffin TV, you can easily download apps via some popular websites like APK Mirror. Open Puffin TV and head to APK Mirror, perform a quick search, and you'll be able to download the APK after battling intrusive ads on the website, which can save you a lot of time. But at the same time, these sorts of sites can inject viruses and vulnerabilities inside the system, so beware before you click on one of those random download buttons. Even after the presence of Play Store on Android TV and Amazon Store on the Fire TV Stick, the apps available for these devices are very less and since they run on Android, the compatible apps are really, really high. It's just that they're not fully optimized. To access them, you have to use Aptoy TV Store. Yes, this store is capable enough to be called as a computer to Play Store on the TV ecosystem. Use any one of the methods discussed to install Aptoy TV and open it. Once that's done, now you can download and install apps which are natively not available on the Play Store but good enough to be on the Android TV. The only downside to this store is that there's all sorts of apps without any guidelines. You can find apps which promote piracy which we won't discuss them in this video or other videos. Cause piracy is bad. So now that you know all the different ways that you can side on apps onto your Android TV, let me know which one you really liked in the comment section below. And by the way, most of the side loaded apps might not work on the native launcher. So click on this card so you can watch our best Android TV launcher video that we've done. You know, if you want that is. Anyway, thanks for watching and Vamzi, subscribe for more informative content that's also mildly entertaining.